Hello everyone! I know it's been a while since I've had a proper video about Primal Carnage, but between the beta coming along really slowly and uh, not a lot of hype around the game anymore, let's be honest. And also content-wise, there isn't much left to do in Extinction, plus I've had a lot going on in life too. But anyway... I feel like now would be a good time to have a discussion video about Primal Carnage Evolution, and whether Primal Carnage Evolution will succeed where Extinction failed. And before anyone asks, I am not going to show any beta footage in this video. I would like to, but I unfortunately cannot, and I'm not going to spoil anything either. Spoil? But, but there's already a game on PC! What are you gonna spoil? <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna spoil? Oh my god! Oh, evolution has new dinosaurs! Oh my god, that's so funny! Hey stupid! Did you know that Pyro can burn things? Oh, you're so stupid! Oh, oh, hell no. I do not care if there is other media out there on a screenshot or Discord or anywhere else other than YouTube. I simply don't want to take any risks. But there is no risks. Shut the fuck up. We do not care. The one thing I will mention about the beta is how nothing is being rushed. And how much effort is also being put into it, too. The devs could easily just copy and paste the game. They could just easily copy and paste and hardly put in any effort, but... They're actually putting in work, and I have to give them credit where credit is due. They're doing a decent job. I can't share everything I've seen and learned over the beta, but I am pleased with the product so far. However... I can go over what evolution needs to do to succeed where extinction failed. Also, I should clarify that I'm not going to be going over many character balance changes because, well, we already have the PC version to look at. And PS4's biggest balance issues have already been addressed on there many patches ago. I know. You know. So, uh, it's kind of redundant to talk about that. And you know what I'm talking about. So, let's start out with the most simple problem. That being, able to join games quickly. Most players in Extinction end up waiting minutes, yes, minutes, to join a match. If this continues, this will kill off many potential new players from even playing a game. And while I'm not a huge fan of high ping host servers and joining up to minutes at a time, I'll admit I'm not too worried about this problem in the future. Because every single server I've joined in beta has only taken a couple of seconds and a couple of tries at most. It's been really smooth. And if this stays true to launch, there won't be any problem. However, if it's like Extinction on launch day for joining, then that's going to be a major problem. The next thing I want to talk about would be giving players something to do that can be done reasonably. Most of the Extinction current players, all, what, 30 of them? Just sit around and free roam and do nothing. Players need something to do. And yes, I'm well aware of the PC challenges that will be included in Team Deathmatch. But the trophies... The Primal Carnage Extinction PlayStation 4 trophies... were either so stupidly easy to do... or pretty much impossible to do in-game without someone helping you out. Seriously, did anyone actually do Feet of Fury or Dynamite legitimately? Some dinosaurs, like Carno and Acro, were poorly balanced to the point where they couldn't reliably do their trophy without even getting slaughtered. How are you supposed to run up to five people as Acro without getting slaughtered? Also, let's be real. 
32 trophies, including platinum, isn't really a whole lot. Let's hope that the evolution trophies will be more reasonable to do, as well as somewhat challenging because you don't want them too easy. And let's, uh, let's possibly hope for at least double the extinction trophies, maybe? Maybe like 64 or 72. I've got a feeling it it would be more. I don't I don't exactly know how much more, but I have a feeling it's going to be more. With that being said, I noticed Extinction was absolutely brutal to play as for humans, for the non-tryhard players. Most people understood how to play as dinos for the most part. But dinosaurs are pretty straightforward. Albeit most of them were garbage to play as and not very fun, outside of Tyrants, Ovi, and Tupa. Humans, on the other hand, were either brain numbingly broken or complete fodder. Human players should not have to rely on cheesy bullshit like ground shooting noob tubes and other cheesy one-shots to have a good time. I'm not saying evolution needs to be dumbed down. I just think players should have a reason to want to play as humans outside of stupid, unfun, one-shot explosions. They have guns. They have guns. People should be using their guns. Why even develop other weapons if one part of a kit is going to be used? We know! I know! You know, I know, I got it. I got the concept. Newer players won't be willing to learn humans if there's nothing exciting about playing as humans. Especially when dinosaurs are easier to pick up and play. A proper tutorial will do wonders, I feel. As well as more character-oriented tips. The next thing would be controlling toxic players. We all know someone who has ruined one of our games, and we can't do anything about it, aside from leave. Well, host players most likely we'll get the option to kick players, which will be a godsend to those who want a fair game. Sure, this could get abused if the host is toxic, <clears throat> but it will be worth it in the end. Now finally, the biggest issue that Extinction faced was the abandonment by Panic Button. This company being absent no one actually cared about other the reasons Shut up, Dundee. was the main reason why Extinction never received any updates aside from what one and why Evolution is considered a new game to begin with this cannot happen again if a lack of updates is something Evolution will be known for then anyone involved with this game will lose all credibility. Players will drop off in droves again, and there will probably be some YouTuber making a story about the failures of Primal Carnage. This game is a make or break situation, and the developers know this. I do have faith. Truthfully, I do have faith. So. In conclusion, I think Evolution will be moderately successful. I already think the beta is a better product than Extinction, considering Extinction was complete garbage. I'm not saying there's going to be tens of thousands of players, but a semi-reasonable 1 to 3,000 frequent players would make for a pretty fun experience, all things considered. And what's going to keep them here is the amount of new skins to buy, new classes to play, easier to join servers, hopefully more updates, new weapons, 
and a complete lack of tyrant spam and noob tube shoot the ground run in circles commando. But if there's anything else I forgot to mention, please comment down below. And I will see you when the game releases.